Soft tissue sarcomas are a rare group of cancerous tumors uh, of the soft tissues, either of the extremities, the arms and legs, or in the central part of the body as well. Uh, they typically occur in areas such as muscle or fat, uh, though they can occur in, in most of the soft tissues of the body. There's more than 50 different subtypes or different types of soft tissue sarcoma uh, that are recognized by the World Health Organization, uh, and each of them dictates a slightly different treatment modality. So there are multiple types of soft tissue sarcoma. Uh, liposarcoma is probably the most common, uh, though there are uh, any of a number, more than 50 different types that are recognized. Uh, the most common being liposarcoma and what's called the undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma, which is more of a wastebasket term for things that don't look like any of the others. We often, based off of both clinical and radiologic examination, have a uh, high suspicion for a soft tissue sarcoma, but ultimately we require a biopsy where a small piece of the tumor is looked at under the microscope by our pathologist to make sure that we have the correct diagnosis as well as the correct type in order to dictate the proper care. Nearly all soft tissue sarcomas are treated with surgery. It's called a wide excision, where we take out the tumor with a narrow zone of tissue around it to ensure that the entire tumor and all of its cells are removed. Depending on multiple other clinical factors, uh, as including the patient's age and how aggressive the tumor is, the addition of radiation uh, and or chemotherapy uh, is also discussed in clinical detail as appropriate. So the grade of a soft tissue sarcoma is an indication of its biologic aggressiveness. When we look at it under the microscope, we can see how uh, aggressive the tumor cells are, and that helps indicate its likelihood of both coming back locally as well as spreading to other parts of the body. So most soft tissue sarcomas, we don't understand why they developed in the first place. Uh, there are some uh, hereditary risk factors, patients with uh, rare genetic syndromes that predispose to developing soft tissue sarcomas exist. Uh, in addition, those that have conditions such as prior radiation uh, to the area, uh, that's a known risk factor. But most of our patients, uh, we have no real understanding as to why it develops. Here at Johns Hopkins, we have multiple uh, investigations uh, that are currently on, ongoing. Uh, we work closely with our colleagues in both radiology, radiation oncology, and medical oncology to continue to innovate new methods to improve our patients' outcomes. Uh, in addition, we have an ongoing uh, tissue bank where uh, patients have volunteered to uh, donate a small sample of their tumor for future research projects so that we can continue to investigate uh, for years to come. Mm -hmm.